do you say when there are no words? Feel a song that's never been heard. How do you know when you hear the call? What do you do when you've done it all? Cannonball. 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 It's not what you do, it's how you do it. Be anything you want to be. It's not what you got, it's how you use it. You be you and I'll be me, it's just a matter of style. You can't fake it, mile after mile. Let them roll, Let roll. from sea to shine and see. Good afternoon, everybody. We got Mr. ML. How's it we, going? We've got Mr. Jay, how you doing? Not too bad, man. Jay's come from, well, today you didn't come from too far because you're staying with your friends. I didn't know, I came from the flipping depths of stress. And <laughs> but where do you live? You're, mi you're miles away. Yeah, I'm uh, near, near Manchester, so northerner. So a know, bit, bit of a trek. That's it. What's it like down being down south? It's, it's scary, man. <laughs> Everyone's got the, these posh accents. <laughs> today, we are bringing you guys a pretty special review Jay's very kindly brought down his Toyota Celica GT4. That's it, SC205. Yeah, so cool, it's... man. This is a pretty special car for me as well because my mum, as I've told you a million times already, <laughs> has an ST202, which is not the GT4, it's like the GT version. Yeah. It's a sort of weaker front wheel drive version. It is, yeah. But she loves it, man. She's had it literally from new, 1996. She's on 150,000 miles. Is she? And it's standing up. <laughs> yeah, oh, fair play. She does. So she's dropping clutch she, all the she time. She drives like, it pretty slowly. Yeah. <laughs> What mileage is this one done? So this is probably like 110, it's a mix of kilometers of miles. Uh, so this so is a Japanese import? It is, yeah. Because okay. yeah. they did actually officially sell these in the UK. They did, yeah, there's a few UK ones. They're a bit less horsepower, they're yeah. um, 230 for the UK ones. These are 255. Oh, I think it's yeah. just difference in octane. Yeah. Well, the Japs always seem to get things slightly better. Don't they? I, I, I might be right in saying that the Japs one, Jap one had a slightly different turbo, but I might be wrong in saying that. That's it, yeah. It's got a ceramic exhaust yeah. reel on it. These cars are actually produced from 1994 to 1999. That's it. Yours is a 96? 96, yeah, M plate. So this is storm grey. So they only made this colour for 96. It's a lovely colour, JDM man. only, yeah. Yeah, I love grey. Like I always say, because black's really hard to keep clean. Silver, is, yeah. really common, always keeps yeah. clean. Grey's right in the middle, looks, looks fantastic. How many do they actually produce in this colour, do you know? Not not overall. I know in the UK, I think it's only meant to be like three from, really? from what I've heard, so but it is the rarest colour for it, yeah. Yeah, crazy. These cars actually have a massive history in WRC, they World Rally Championship. do, yeah. The GC4 is the homologation version, so Toyota could compete. So they literally just made this car they specifically did. just so they could enter yeah, the rallies. Yeah, yeah. Pretty crazy, that. <laughs> produced two and a half thousand WRC models. They did, like, yeah. But road going oh, so, so they came with the naughty Yummy Extras. So you got anti lag with those, you got a um, spray part for the intercooler and those other things, yeah. Everything sort of all plumbed in as if well, it was a rally car. Yeah, so rally team just go there, plug it in. And that's quality, it's, it's isn't it? Go, yeah, yeah. It's crazy. At the time it dominated. The one before this, the ST185, won nearly everything, to be honest, yeah. at the time. But these, they actually got caught cheating with this. Yeah, the, tur the turbo restrictor or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it was really clever. Apparently, like the best. I think the FIA said it was like the best technology in like thirty years or something. That's it. Yeah, yeah, man. The best cheat they've ever seen. So it's it open up on full chat and yeah, give you more. Yeah, boost. naughty Toyota. I know. And it's they actually got banned from uh, from from rallying from for, 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 for yeah a year. yeah for a few years because they yeah. came back with the Corolla, didn't they? After yeah. this, with the same Castrol. And what they actually did was they actually invested money in private teams. So they, they still raced the GT4, but they not did, under yeah. the Toyota banner. Yeah. It was all under yeah. private teams. This car's a little bit of an unknown. They're not really sort of 
massively out in the public eye, are they? No, well, I used to call them the Thinking Man Zero before I bought them. You see one, it's like people don't think about it, do they? And it's quite good, it's a coupe. Yeah. How many coupe rally cars like, in many. WRC? There's not many, are there? So. Like my mum's one, that's a uh, front wheel drive. This is obviously four wheel drive. So it was made at the time to compete with sort of Evos and Subarus. It is, yeah, time. same with our two litre four wheel drive. So it's got a 50 50 split. But Evo's got active York control, haven't they? So oh, this, yeah. this is mechanical, so this is fully yeah, easy. LST basic. at the back, got a viscous coupling in the middle, and that transfers the power around. And you were saying this drive, this drivetrain can actually run up to 800 horsepower? Yeah, I, so I've heard the gearbox is pretty damn bulletproof. I know tuning developments have got one at like 750. I think Crazy they've got a set of box in They're proper yeah, strong. Yeah. And obviously the famous 3S GTE. That's it, brilliant cast iron block, closed deck. These actually have a metal head gasket for the battery. Really? It's pretty sick, yeah, multi layer. They must have sort of put a bit of thought into that. That's that it, it's got oil squirters underneath. Really yeah, crazy. Yeah, yeah. So it's, it's a pretty. Advanced. It is, yeah, forged crank. So I know the um, bottom end's pretty damn bulletproof to be honest. And this is the same engine that they had in the MR2 turbo. It is, yeah, the Rev3 3S GTE. Obviously, that was mid engined. That is, yeah. I think it ran, ran a different turbo as well on the, yeah. uh, the MR2. So bit slightly bit more of a ditch finder. That's <laughs> it, I know, yeah. Let's just run through all the mods on your car because it's not, I mean, it's not massively modified. But no, it's not standard I like either. to think it's tastefully modified. Yeah, I, I, like the, I like the way you've done it, to be fair. Yeah, so it's got a Blitz, Blitz Nurse spec all the way through. So it's, it's a decal, it's got an RSI decal in it. It's got an HKS intake. Yeah, cool. So you got the, the filter, standard uh, reset valve, but it sounds pure thing you got after. Still got a little bit of flutter. Yeah, 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 yeah it's cool. nice. <laughs> GFB GeForce 2 boost controller set to 1.1 bar, which is brilliant boost controller that. And really good stuff. roughly how much horsepower does that net it, us? It dynoed at, at 310. 310, no, that's healthy, healthy figures. It is, yeah, it's right, it should be producing for the power. And about know. sort of 50, 60 horsepower over the over the stock that's car. That's it, yeah. This standard actually, Toyota had an issue with quality control on the, um, on the race gates of some, you can get some like that run nearly one bar from the factory. Really crazy. So this standard dynoed at 270, so it's a bit, bit heavy. Uh, and what boost was that on? I think that was running like 0. 0. 0.9. Okay, for that, it's yeah. quite mad because obviously the figures they stated in the actual reality of what they came out with was quite different. It wasn't was, it? yeah. Those yeah. cheeky japs, man. aren't they? <laughs> okay. differences between the UK one of these and the, and the Jap one apart from the power? No, I think the main, main difference for that power was um, the ECU tune slightly different for Octane. I think everything else Essentially was the same. pretty much the same car, yeah. yeah. You did get the um, optional extra, which this has the optional extra Ricar SR interior, which I think was a JDM option. Oh, so this option. is the standard. Oh no, because you're right, because I had a look on eBay last night and they, they come with some sort, they've got these awful sort of like yeah. red lines across yeah, them, yeah. they? So this is an optional extra proper air one, so yeah, for me that was like half selling point. Yeah. Cafe with cars are gorgeous. And then what, what about suspension? Suspension is running TRD shocks and sprigs. They've got TRD? Yeah, so, so it's, Was it's that on the car from when it came from Japan? It was, yeah. Yeah, because yeah. I'm trying to find that TRD suspension now for one of these. I bet you that is near enough impossible. I wouldn't like to try. Yeah. But yeah, so they're adjustable, but not, not like... Not high adjustable, yeah. you can just adjust yeah. the damper yeah, adjustment. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Because I seem to remember the stock GT4s do sit quite high. They do sit they? quite high, yeah. Because yeah. this is a TRD kit on. I think without the TRD kit, they actually look quite cool, quite high. Ah, the, yeah, the like, body kit. Is it all TRD? Yeah, I think whether it's a rep or not, I don't know. I'm probably inclined to say it is a rep. I'm going to say over it is original TRD. Yeah. But yeah, it's got TRD skirts and rear spats. And the, and the front bumper? Yeah, the front lips are C1. Ah, you got C1 front lips? Yeah. Underneath, this is fully um, zinc coated. Oh, really? Yeah, so subframe's being out. Sick, so it's proper, proper mint yeah, underneath. Yeah, everything's poly brush. We've got a poly diff brush. So oh, cool, man. So you get a bit of squeak after, it's after winter, so it's a yeah. bit, your brushings get a bit dry, squeak a bit, but. You lose a little bit of that sort of streetable, but it's much do. nicer. And the rubber yeah. doesn't, the polyurethane is exactly? like And also rubber. trying to get like, sorry to brushings for this is like <laughs> impossible. You know what I mean? is it like getting pot? Can you still buy sort of new parts from Toyota for you these? You can, there's, there's a company down in Devon called TCB, which they've got a load of sort of new old stock. And there's tuning developments have a few bits. You, you have to hunt around, yeah. but it's, it's not too bad, but the prices are pretty dear. Pretty high. What about yeah. aftermarket parts? Aftermarket, there's, 
That's quite scarce well. Yeah. yeah, trying to find bits for this isn't the easiest. Do you ever go on like uh, Yahoo Japanese auctions? I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, I've got the TRD brochure from the 26. <laughs> oh so I've got oh, all the parts. That's probably worth a bit of money in that, itself. Yeah, I know, man. yeah, I might try to plug out of <laughs> We've done the suspension and all the bushes. What about the brakes? The brakes actually are quite beefy on this. We've got four parts in the front, two parts in the rear. This is standard Toyota. They're actually the same calipers as a disc from the Twin Turbo Supra they threw on this. Are they really? They are, yeah. that's quite a popular upgrade on the Sauras is chucking the Supra yeah. front calipers on. Yeah, so. That's quite a good idea. If you, I might be able to find some cheap nates in well, that. that's it, I know, yeah. Shit, I'm gonna put that in the video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, so this has got um, EBC yellow stuff all around, EBC um, slotted roses. Uh, They're not the best, well. but it's a nice, yeah, yeah, nice upgrade. Enough sort of braking force. Yeah. And, so. then, and wheels and tyres? Wheels and tyres, we're running Rosa Force. Alloy 17 inch tyres, we've got um, Goodyear Eagle F1 oh, Eagle Eagle F1. Yeah, they're a pretty decent tyre. We have got a little bit of a straight now, so we'll just open her up and see what she's all about. She is a lovely old girl, so we can't go too mad. No, mate, bounce it off red line. All right. So. <laughs> Said they're long, but they you're in it for yeah. it just revs because it uh, red lines seven eight, and it, it keeps on pulling, yeah. man. GT4s that are actually physically in the UK. Yeah, both JDM and, and UK ones. I think we've gone how many left? It says like 300. 300. Yeah, is but rev, I don't know, maybe you want to trust that. Yeah, because they don't see them like road tax and stuff, don't yeah, they? Exactly. And, yeah, exactly. Have you ever seen one on the roads? I've seen uh, like a handful. Do you give them a, is there like I, a I go, special way? You go to, I, to be honest, <laughs> actually, you probably get blanks. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> went, past one the, yeah, went past one the other day. I was like, right. They yeah, don't know what it's too busy looking forward, but that's yeah. it. What about other colours? I know they do. I had a look on eBay last night. It's silver, black. That's it. Silver, black, white. I think. White, yeah. That's a red ones. One or two red ones. And then, then that's about it. Yeah. And they also made a convertible of the Celica, yeah, which is really, really yeah. uncommon. Should make a G4 version of that. Yeah. Be a bit <laughs> I don't think it would have the structural sort of rigidity. <laughs> no. Rallying in the convertible. No though. man, but they're they're pretty cool. I don't know what they sort of fetch these days, but yeah, I remember my mum always quite fancy one of those. Yeah. yeah. Bless my mum. I've tried, obviously being a car dealer, I've tried to like get her a new car for the last like five years. She won't have it. She is, she literally is obsessed with her car, man. She loves it to death. So. And I remember my old man, bless him, he bought it for her, for her in 1996 for, as a Christmas present. I think before that she had a Mazda 323. She's yeah. pretty JDM. Model. She is, isn't she? <laughs> so it sounds a 323 Turbo. <laughs> yeah. No, Boiler. it wasn't a GTX. No, was is that about... GTX, that one? I think so, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, it's no, pretty it was just a normal 1.8 one, but it was still pretty cool. Yeah, I think this is definitely a video my old dear is going to be watching, man. Oh, so I'll, I'll let her know if I'm going to flog it any time yeah. soon. Yeah, so. oh, it's, it's funny, when Jay got in contact with me on Facebook, I actually thought to myself, I really want to get my mum a GT4. So I thought, I wonder what price they're going to be at. I had a quick look on the net. Ropey ones are six, seven grand. They're going up. Yeah, yeah. a few years ago, you probably paid one up for four. Mm. But recently, they've really shot up. So gearbox in this is stock. It is, yeah. And they're yeah. rated to some sort of mad, mad horsepower. Yeah, you don't need to fiddle with the gearbox no. and these. A diff, so everything's strong. And the, what, what clutch? It's gone in ZZ stage one. Oh, stage so it's one, nice, okay. so a bit, a bit of copper in the so compound. Organic? organic? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sick. So because it's it's not big power, it's sort of, you know, just just means if you launch it, you don't feel as bad. Yeah, and you don't want to put too much shock through the drive. No, train, no, it's a nice, it's a nice medium. What's it like when you launch it? Can you literally sort of do eight grand, dump the clutch, and off it goes? Yeah, you can. Yeah, I, I normally give five and a half, get a bit of slip, keep me pulling it. It's, it's gone. Yeah. yeah. Should we do a little launch? Yeah, go ahead. I'll let John do a launch. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Fuck me, that that puts you back in your seat. Does, doesn't it? Jesus. <laughs> Nice to get the right amount of slip, and then it's just it off. just goes yeah. perfectly. Yeah, you're five right. k's perfect. And you're right with that clutch as well. It just allows enough enough play to sort of not it does go crazy on the yeah, but it holds. Yeah. It, it doesn't slip. It's nice to launch. I've had glances and stuff for trying to get those off the line. 
you're just there a second like <laughs> yeah. da, 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 always you know, like, you've got loads of horsepower those front wheel drive cars yeah you're just there with your right foot going wah, yeah. wah, wah, you know trying to... you used to have a style it yourself didn't you did yeah yeah naughty little guns at first car actually was Eight, it first car 18 how much insurance on that I think it was 1,800 more than the car no <laughs> No, we're, but we're mad, aren't we? Our sort of enthusiasts. We'd rather we'd That's rather it. eat nothing, have no home, but as long as we've got a sick car, man. My mum loved it. She like, yeah, she used to take it out, gave it a death. You scare me. Your mum sounds pretty cool because didn't you say that she actually? She had a super, yeah. Yeah, yeah. and she told you to sort of bot. You went to look at was it an S13? Well, yeah, I wanted one eighty SX in my head. I had my dream one eighty SX. Go on the go on my bookmarks. Go under the the folder. <laughs> I already had a car built really? out. Yeah. <laughs> Same as me. I think a lot of us are like that. Yeah. Right? So I went C2 and then we went up to par. I wanted a really clean street one which hadn't been drifted. So I thought. Yeah, I wondered what else in the in the range. Mum said, you know, what do toys do? It's quite similar. I thought, yeah, the GC4. I've always in the past for the pre the pre six. I'm only getting, you know, yeah, spoilers. Mum actually thought of it, and your mum she used to have a super as well. So then she actually wrote it off, racing my <laughs> racing my dad and Mark to Escort. <laughs> yeah, now, yeah. Now so. we know where Jay gets his madness from. I know, <laughs> yeah. I try not to do the same. Like, <laughs> oh, mum, if you're watching, I've heard you're pretty much a pretty much a legend. I know. What super was it? It was. It wasn't a twin turbo Mark V. Uh, not gonna lie. Yeah, yeah. No, it was. It was a one J um, Mark IV. Oh, the uh, Mark III. Mark III. Yeah. yeah the, sorry, the Mark III. Pop-up yeah, yeah. headlight one. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's cool. It. They're super rare now. Man. Was it manual or auto? It was manual. Fuck yeah. me. I'm not sure if they were well, they R154 W58. R154. I think so. I think so. That's a rare car now. It is. Yeah. yeah. They're pretty sick. Mark one J from Stan. Go and sell that. Or write, write it off. I say that. Yeah. <laughs> Even worse. <laughs> Jay just made a very good point. These these are sort of reminiscent of the super dashes. They kind of came out a lot more, a bit more sort of cockpit yeah. but that is a similar sort of design, it is. isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah, you're right, actually. I didn't notice that don't, design cue. Please don't say it's a super in the comments. <laughs> For heaven's sake. The matter, you'll, you'll get, like, I'll go... Yeah, you know, go to the car and say, oh, nice super lad. I don't know if they're being sarcastic anymore. <laughs> yeah, no. I just rave. You don't realise, no. man. It's a classic sort of 90s dash. It's it quite sort of plasticky, but it's got all your all your sort of basic mod cons. Say it's all right. Air conditioning. Yeah, we've got yeah. climate control on this. And the other thing I just noticed as well, you've got a cheeky little boost yep. gauge on the dash. It says nothing, it just says plus or minus, so, yeah, it, so just, it just goes like It doesn't like, actually give you numbers, does it? No, yeah. Because I'm running more boost, it actually interferes with the um, cooling gauge now. Oh, does you it? You go off top. It yeah, so up, it's yeah. Not, obviously we never fully boost when it's cold. Yeah. But if I did, it'd be probably have a bit of a fight with the two. Yeah, do you sort of, do you treat her like a lady? Of course. You have to. Yeah, I'm a bit anal when it comes to maintenance. Like lots of regular ser service. Yeah, oil every changes. every three and a half, every four thousand. Good man. The Titan, right. Titan Race Pro, ten to be four. Well, you're kind of protecting your investment, really, aren't you? Good oil to me is like engine insurance. Yeah. You know, you that's it. You have to look after them. Mm. And you use Titan like the same stuff. It, oh yeah, yeah Esther-based stuff. Yeah, it's Anything really Esther. I'll use. I've used Miller's with a triple Esther. I've used them all, but. To be honest, whatever's on deal at OB Oils. Yay, monkey done discount code. Shouts out. Woo -woo. I know. Don't forget, guys, we've always got a 10% discount running with OB Oils and a whole load of other companies as well. All you've got to do is check my video descriptions and save yourselves a few peas. Am I right in saying that some of the later revisions of these came with projector headlights? That's correct, yeah, facelift, and those are worth a bomb. A bomb, yeah. Yeah, I'm They're very at... unique, the front end of these, these they sort are, of yeah. double headlights. It's because you either like them or you don't. Yeah. It looks like a spider, really. It's the bonnets in these, as you'll notice, it's like a bloody cheese grater. You've yeah. got like scoops quite everywhere. quite a few scoops in them, isn't it? There is quite a few. It's actually one, the offset one, people wonder what that's for. It's not a machine gun turret, as you know. <laughs> Which it looks like. As we wish it sometimes <laughs> is. Um, yeah, it's actually a cam belt cooler. I saw a cam belt cooler? Cam belt cooler. How Because you know when that? your cam belt gets all toasty and warm, you need to... You know, obviously so it never really, happens, it's really but what it's for. It is, yeah, so it goes down into the block and cools down the um, cam belt and um, cylinder number four. So I think it's just some allegation they they overbuilt this, over engineered everything yeah, totally. all out. Well, this is definitely the first car I've ever reviewed that has a cam belt cooler. That's pretty. That'll be pretty it, and that'll be the rage. It'll be drift, drift cars and massive. <laughs> yeah, cam man, belt you started a new trend. Give us some death in first if you want. <laughs> fact with these these don't have a conventional intercooler it's no, not they air don't. to air they have a, a charge cooler charge cooler yeah which is actually good for 450 horsepower so you've got a pump so you've got a radiator in the front charge cooler on top and it just circulates coolant around 
So it's effectively um, like air to water rather is, than yeah. air to air. That's yeah. it. They use them on the rally cars. I think it's just a more efficient system. You're not going to get stones going into the intercooler and ruining anything. Do you get people doing like front mount conversions? Yeah, on you these? do. Yeah, you get a bit more torque from a front mount, and obviously heat soak with the because um, it's on top of the engine. Yeah, yeah. hence yeah. they've got some of the sort of bonnet scoops up. That's there. it. Yeah, because yeah. the pump only works when you're on throttle to um, get the coolant mount. So to circulate yeah, it. So you start traffic like this and it then can gun get it. get a lot of heat, so yeah. I you do You know. do feel the difference. What was that on the front suspension? Something about, su not su super, super strut. Super strut. Yeah, yeah, typical Japanese. They love Yeah, they love their crazy yeah, names, super, don't super they? Super, super duper strut. So yeah. this has the, so the, the road going version had super struts. It did. The rally cars had it to begin with, but they found it a bit faulty. It, it so like they, wore out Yeah, time. so they rent some McPherson after that. Crazy. It's, it's, it's a mixture of double wishbone McPherson. So I think they did it. So is it the real go to the travel? It doesn't camber in. So it's so on a rally car. That's what you want. You want the you want lower travel, you. and it's a V, not not camber in. So it. it almost tries to give it a sort of perfect contact yeah. patch. That's but the, quite interesting. The trouble is, it's um, parts for it. So it's not possible. So and they need uh, they need rebuilding. The figure eight people like G4 owners will know the figure eights go. You get a clunking, and it's to rebuild the whole front end. I think it's like 700 quid a side. Major, just major. just on arms. Yeah, coil overs are hell's are fine for this. If you got BCs, you have to cut the uh, bottom of the strut off the. It's the, an insert. Yeah. Ah, or well, what's a pain? Yeah, it's a pain in the arse there. Yeah. yeah. It's not, not an easy sort of one day to swap it over, and I can't weld, unfortunately. Oh, did you see my latest video? I did. I did. Oh, I can't weld either. You was being <laughs> savage. I didn't think that was like you know, you know two metal stuck together. <laughs> what more do you want? Get the grinder right. I actually after. went back when we we finished the cage. Off, I did the very last weld, and that actually yeah. quite a nice weld on that one. But I actually really enjoyed yeah, it. Show people that. Really good fun. Yeah, it's gonna be. That'll be in the next. That's it. Yeah. It's hitting well about nicely there, it's holding. Yeah, it's holding yeah, I could up it to 1.1, but I might give it, I'll give it a bit more juicy. That's the danger of having electronic boost. It is, I could just turn on the boost until <laughs> yeah, it blows it's up. Fucking lethal. I know. Man. You might be getting a link ECU. Yeah, for this, G4, G4 Plus. Plus. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. this hasn't been mapped. This is um, it's all stock ECU. The ECU can't be mapped, unfortunately. So I think because they're closed, they're closed loop on. They tires, are. Aren't they? Yeah. yeah, it's got presets. It's got fueling presets up to one to one point two bar. So hence why I can just throw a boost control it and get a bit more power. And, it that and way. still run it safely. That's really where is that? That's sort of like a fuel cut. It is. Yeah, it run. It does run rich. The ECU panics thing. The injectors in, in this are um, 540cc from factory. Quite big. They are. Yeah. People throw them in one J's, don't they? I think in, in, um, oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, bigger. it's quite yeah, a popular yeah. swap. Yeah. So this is an ST205. 205, yeah. Before this, it was ST185. 185 was the GC4 before, yeah. And the 165 was yeah. the one previous. Yeah, the original, like the 80s one. And there wasn't any GC4s prior no, to that? No, that was the first one. Okay. Yeah, and there hasn't been any since. And they were all four wheel drive? They were, yeah. Same, all three SGT as well. So the um, ST165 had a rev revision one block. Oh, but all three SGT yeah, are yeah, crazy. Yeah. That engine's been going for a long That's, time. Yeah, it's supposed to be like the 4G63, yeah. but it's been a bit longer. But obviously they revised it quite a lot. There was a revision, revision 4 in the end, which is in a, um, I think it's a Chaldean or however you pronounce it. That's an ST185 is the chassis code for that. So it's like an estate GC4. Crazy, man. And that ran, that ran a rev 4, and that was like two, 270 horsepower, I think 275. Right, that just about wraps this review up. Want to say a massive thanks to Jay nice for bringing no, the car down. Appreciate it. It's been a laugh. It's been yeah, a sort of real, been real fun, blast yeah. in the past for me. I really enjoyed it's it. It's nice to get the word out on GC4s because yeah. like people just think it's you get the, 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 the super comments and the, <laughs> but they are really sick cars. Yeah. You know? As always, don't forget to check out my Patreon out down here. Give the video a like. Put any comments down below. Do my best to get back to you, and we'll see you soon. Peace. Not what you do, it's how you do. Be anything you wanna be. It's not what you got, it's how you use it. You be you and I'll be me. It's just a matter of style. You can't fake it. Mile after mile, feeling free. If you got the soul, you can't fake it. Move them out, let them roll. From sea to shine.